She says there was a girl three years ago at ASAP who asked me a riddle. The riddle was, a turtle without a shell, is it homeless or is it naked? <laughs> and she wants to know if I remember my response. Oh my gosh, good. I'm not that smart. I've, I've heard 50,000 questions since then. Um, what, Is it naked? And I said, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead too. I love that. I'm smart. <laughs> it's dead too. <laughs> Ahmed, do you have a black razor? Cell phone? Belongs to this young lady right here. You want to let her know where it is? It's in the loss of phone in the uh, customer service. Yes, Miss Mandy. You had a question, didn't you? You guys, I have to do it. Let me introduce you to one of the main super duper leaders of the Risen Bull Rangers. She is a sweet, sweet friend and she is one of our heads. This is Mandy, she goes by Crazy Mandy or Mandy. And uh, if you join you, I'm sure you'll, you'll cross paths with her on the, on the forums and on the, uh, on, in the chat room. What's your question, sweet? Ooh, good question. How many auditions do you go through before you actually get a role? I've been very blessed. I've been very, very blessed. I get cast a lot when I audition for things. But I really shouldn't let that go to my head because there, that just is the way it happened. There's no telling. I mean, there have, been, there have been streaks when I've auditioned for all kinds of things and didn't get cast. Um, I just I just auditioned for something last week, and the director was like, "You were my first pick, by far." But the the people that own the license chose someone else. Um, that happens a lot. Um, I will tell you something very sobering to you if you're interested in voice acting. Let me just give you again some perspective. Steve Bloom, one of the most prolific, talented voice actors out there. He has a studio in his home, and his manager, his agents, send him scripts to audition for. They send him auditions. Could be commercials, could be anime, could be video games, whatever. He told me, for every, he gets cast one time for every 30 auditions. Damn. Steve Bloom. That's for every 30 things he reads for, three zero. He gets cast once. That's that's the reality of it. Because you know what? As much as I hate for as much as I hate that it's true, there are thousands of people out there that want to do this, and they may be better than me, and maybe better than Steve, and and you know if they get to audition, they may get cast. So we just do the best we can, and you know, and as you'll hear many actors say, I've heard this all my life. Rejection is part of acting. You can't audition for something and expect to get cast. More times than not, you should expect not to, and then be pleasantly surprised if you are. Um, so, yeah, that's a great question for those of you that are interested in, in possibly pursuing this. Yes? I know a lot of people are purists and don't want to watch the American uh, oh. dogs on the show. Mm -hmm. Do you ever watch the Japanese That's a great question. <clears throat> I know that there are purists out there, and you know what? God bless you. If you speak Japanese, God bless you. <laughs> um, I don't. And I would really rather look in the face of those characters and watch that show than try to read the show and miss out on half the visuals. That's me. That's me. Okay? If you speak fluent Japanese, you go. I have enormous respect for you. I know four words in Japanese. I mean... <laughs> Say it! 
good. I know Aragato Gozamas, I know Dota Shimashti, I know Hajime Mashte, I know I know Kide, beautiful. I know Kawaii. I know a handful, but not enough to do any damage. So um but my point here, let me I really want to address this because Um, I, I, I know this is a, a, a really good issue about sub a, a subs versus dubs. Well, let me say this, you guys. First of all, all anime is dub, even in Japanese. It's all dub. Dub is, I mean, it's not, it's not accurate to say sub versus dub. All of it's dub. I don't speak, for those of you that don't speak fluent enough Japanese, if you, you know, I understand if, if dubs are bad. I understand if the dub is bad, and Lord knows there are plenty of bad dubs out there. But can I tell you something? Let's be honest, there are plenty of bad Japanese dubs too. They're not, they weren't, you know, they weren't crafted by God at the throne and then lowered to mankind. They were made by people, and people sometimes get it. Sometimes people hit a home run with a show, and sometimes it falls flat. And you know what? You asked about getting inspiration from the Japanese. There have been shows that I've done where I've, the Japanese, I love the Japanese actor that did it. But there are a lot of things that don't translate. They don't work well. A lot of Japanese performances, wait a minute, in case you're videotaping, strike that. There are Japanese performances, not a lot of them, just as there are American performances that are very overacted. Very overacted, very melodramatic. For instance, if I bump into this, reality might be, in Japanese, <laughs> You guys know I'm right, don't you? That's why you're laughing, because it's true. It's funny because it's true. There are a lot of things that are way over the top, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So there are cases where, wow, I love what that guy did. I'm working on a show right now. And there are certain things every once in a while that the Japanese actor does, because I can hear him when we, when we preview it, I can hear the Japanese. I'm like, oh my God, that's hilarious. I'm gonna try to do that as best I can. But then there are other reads and, and performances and attitudes that, that don't work as well for an American audience. Um, Full Metal Alchemist, Romy Park did an amazing job as Ed. Romy is brilliant, and that's why she's one of the most prolific and best known voice actors in Japan. However, when the Japanese licensed Full Metal Alchemist to Funimation, and Funimation started holding auditions, you know what the Japanese said? Uh, well, actually, when, they, when Funimation submitted their choices for the cast, and I was their choice for Ed, um, they, this, that was just their choice. It wasn't the final decision. Anaplex had to make the final decision. They